the iPad as a tool. Uh, there are two things that are, uh, the iPad represents that I think are, are uh, really significant in terms of future trends and, and important. Uh, the first one is integration of the digital and physical worlds. The, the iPad as a device is designed to be used with, with human gestures, human interaction, and uh, to, uh, we interact with this the way we would interact with the physical world. So it blurs the boundaries between the physical and the digital. Uh, I argue that at this point, uh, digital is not a medium anymore. It's beyond that. Uh, ones and zeros in the digital world are like atoms in the physical world, right? We don't react with them uh, directly, but they make everything. And as you see this, this uh, less of a divide and you, you, you just have the, the digital technology added on to the, uh, the physical world, it's, it's an enabling, um, like a, a superpower for the, phys the physical world rather than something that's separate from it. And it has no inherent limitations. Uh, technology will always grow. If it looks like something or it feels like something, it's because of momentary decisions and momentary limitations, but it could be anything, right? So, and that's only going to grow in, in terms of possibilities. Second thing is blurring of boundaries, right? Whether something um, moves or interacts or is a still image, a painted image, a photographic image, uh, whether it's text, all of those things can be created on a laptop and now on an iPad, and they become choices in the toolbox rather than uh, examples of different mediums. So the iPad, again, is a perfect vehicle for that, that synthesis of content, right? So it was invented specifically as a, uh, a means to, to do that. <laughs>